Hello, this is Natalie from Multi Business Solutions. Today we are going to demonstrate how to do a common task in the QuickBooks desktop software. We are using the 2022 version, however, if you have an older version of the software, it will work the same. We love helping clients clean up QuickBooks files and maintain reports for financial accuracy. When working in a file that hasn't been touched for a while or may have some cleanup issues required, one of the problems that we find is that it's often the balance of the loans are not correct because they haven't separated out the principal and the interest and a payment has entirely gone to the principal as it comes through the checkbook. So we're going to show you how you can fix this to make sure that your reports are accurate. We're going to start by going to our reports and we're going to pull a balance sheet. The balance sheet will be a statement in time, so this is as of today, August 18th. This is a sample file we're using so you can disregard most of the information as it's not applicable or accurate. However, we are going to look down here at our long-term liabilities. So you'll see in this file, there's an equipment loan, there's a note payable, and then there's another work system that was purchased. Long-term liabilities, again, anything that you're going to take over a year to pay off. So we're going to look at this 2020 equipment loan. And according to the statement that we have from the bank, this balance as of the end of August should not be 21,600. There is a different balance on the statement that we have. If you don't have a copy of the amortization schedule or you don't have a copy of the statement that shows your balance at any point in time, you will want to request that from your bank or from your lender. But we'll assume that we have that, this is not correct, and we need to go in and make some adjustments. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up and pull the top transaction here, which started January 1st for 4,500. And I see, as predicted, that the entire amount went to the loan. In actuality, only 3,700 went to the loan and 800 went to our interest expense. Often each month the interest expense isn't going to be exactly the same. It will vary over the life of the loan, but for our purposes in this sample, we're just going to say it is the same every month. So once we've split this out, we're leaving our $4,500 is still the total amount of the payment, and then we've done a split on the transaction. We can save and close this. We can go through and update this for all of those transactions to get the interest and the principal split. You will see that as we're making these adjustments, the balance on our loan changes. So before we go in and make this adjustment, it's 41,200. As we do this adjustment and we go back out to look at it, it is now changed to 42,000. We'll go through and make all these adjustments until you get to the current balance on the loan to make sure that that is accurate. You can also pull this through your chart of accounts if you'd like to do that as well. I just did a control A and I'm going to the 2020 equipment loan and you'll see here are all those transactions and there are some that need to be split. If you want to do this right from the ledger of the loan, you can do that as well by clicking in the line where it says check. This is the way to open it up. So I'm going to double click on this one and my transaction opens up and I can go ahead and make that change. So again, to keep your books accurate, make sure that you're splitting out principal and interest. And if you have any questions, contact us at Multi Business Solutions. Thank you.